Mr Deputy Speaker, it may, outside the portals of this institution, strike people as odd, given what's happening, that we're devoting all this time to discussing a single European railway area. But then again, there is, I think, an appropriateness in this topic, both literally and figuratively. Literally because it's precisely such harmonisation, such uniformity, such micromanagement that led Europe to its present discontents. And figuratively because the train is the ultimate European metaphor. When the euro was launched, we were forever being told that we would miss the train and that this was a terrible danger. And we can now see exactly where the train that we missed has ended up. It's hurtling out of control under its own momentum. Bail out and borrow, bail out and borrow, bail out and borrow. And as we look, we can see that there is still theoretically time to throw the switches. You could still deflect it onto a different course. You could allow an orderly dismantling of the Eurozone and for countries to export their way back into the market. But the terrible, grisly truth is dawning on us that there is no one in the engine. It's out of control and it's going to hit the buffers. And when it does, the shock waves will be felt around the world. Grazie.